This is a uh, miniaturized satellite transmitter. It's just been recently, the last few years, the electronics circuitry have reduced the size so that you can put a transmitter inside a bird with a super small battery. So this transmitter transmits a signal for six hours every 90 hours and should last about four to six months. Coleman? Coleman. Is what, what was the number? 24.60. Two, uh, transmitter itself is actually put in the air sac abdomen of the bird. This allows the transmitter to continue to transmit and not interfere with uh, diving or feeding of the bird and should survive the winter. They transmit a body temperature so we know the, the bird's alive and, and well. And from those, we've been able to locate the staging areas and wintering areas of the spectacle eider. But the, the main thing that we found out from birds that we put out last year is that the entire population tends to congregate in one small area in the Bering Sea during winter. At that point, of course, the Bering Sea is iced or ice covered, or almost ice covered. It's very dark and cold out there. The goal is to locate the uh, the wintering areas of these birds until we started this project was totally unknown and been guessed at, but uh, we've actually now located the wintering area. And since the spectacle eider is a threatened species, we're trying to learn as much as possible to hopefully help with the recovery. Hello, my name is Matt Sexton wildlife biologist with USGS Alaska Science Center in Anchorage, Alaska. In 2008, we began a project to repeat and expand upon the original satellite telemetry work of Margaret Peterson in the 1990s. The spectacled eider was listed as a threatened species in 1993. In 2001, critical habitat was designated for the spectacled eider in coastal areas of the Chukchi Sea, Bering Sea, and also in the northern Bering Sea wintering area. In 2008, we began a project to repeat Margaret's original satellite telemetry work with spectacled eiders. Since then, we've deployed over 100 satellite transmitters at breeding areas on the western and northern coasts of Alaska. The procedure that we use to implant satellite transmitters and the transmitters themselves are about the same as those used by Margaret Peterson in the 1990s. However, improvements on satellite telemetry technology since then allow us to use batteries that will provide up to two years of location information on a weekly basis. Since 2008, we've collected spectacled eider satellite telemetry locations throughout the year, providing much needed information to resource managers.